My grandfather has a heart of a lion and a lifetime ban at the zoo. You're welcome. Is this the big one? Yes, it is. Yeah, right here. Here, oh, here, have a drink. Think we're lost? We're lost! Help me! I'll never find my way out of this place. We don't even have a map. We're now in our second core maze at another place. We're gonna do a horse ride and get a pumpkin. Yeah. We're at Hat Creek Farm in Sussex. We just talked to a lady at the front that had just watched one of our videos. So that's pretty cool. We, Sam. we made it to the maze number two. And Sam led the way. I was the map. You were the map this time, yeah. <laughs> So it's the long weekend and uh, Labor Day weekend. And yesterday we went to the pumpkin patch and corn mazes, did a couple tractor rides, or I guess it was horse rides, to go to the corn maze and to pick a pumpkin. And that was really fun. Sam loved that. Now today we're heading to a place called King's Landing, which is past Fredericton. It's in New Brunswick, which is in Canada. And it's an old settlement and everything there is like the, all the old buildings and inside there's like signs and all the old tools and equipment that they used to use. And they have it all set up like it was like a couple hundred years ago or a hundred years ago or 200 years ago, whatever it was. And then all the people who work there, they're in character. So they're dressed like they're back in that time in the 1800s or whatever. They're all dressed like that. So it's really cool. So come along with us and we'll show you some clips of our day there. Let's go. Spending our long weekend out doing this stuff. This is just one of the buildings that you can go in. There's tons of little buildings with all old stuff in it of how the settlers used to live. Pretty neat. Gives us inspiration for our own place. Cool stairs. I love them. My sexy cowboy. I just want to show you is here. Remember how we had the board staggered? Well, that's what they used to do. See this here in the gable in there? What it is, it's just they would put the boards through and whatever length they cut, just like we did at our mill, they they just throw them up as they were. And that's just how it is. So there they are. So what we had there, there was nothing wrong with that. So, just so you know. I like them straight though. Just, just getting you going, getting a couple of people going. It's five o'clock and the place is shutting. So the, the church bells just went off and people are leaving their little buildings. Such a neat place. They're all coming out. They stay in character the whole time too. Up there is an old dam. It's beautiful around here. Hello. Here's my little friend. He's been coming around all, all summer. Okay, so. We got some new shirts. There's more than just this one. You can check that out. Links below. Teespring store. But having said that, I want to thank everybody. We recently hit 50,000 subscribers a couple weeks ago. So to show our appreciation, we're going to give something away. So comment below on this video. We'll randomly select somebody. Going through the little selector we do through the YouTube studio. And we'll let that pick a winner. And whoever wins can pick something from the store. So we got hats sweaters shirts stickers bunch of different stuff with a bunch of different things on them you can check them all out below if you're interested anyways in those and we'll do a little giveaway to uh, show our appreciation so thanks so much 50,000. didn't think we'd ever get here but we have so here we are so check it out links below comment below to get in on that giveaway and thanks another thing before we get started here is is the front door on the place is the only used door out of any of our windows doors or anything we put on the cabin and it's real heavy door with that glass pane glass in it and what it is is that casing is pretty old and that door is starting to leak now so it's throwing the thing out of square and that was actually taken out of a camp during the floods that happened a couple years ago and that door has been a pain in the butt ever since we put it in basically so anyways 
it's super heavy. The casing doesn't really want to hold up. There's nothing I can do other than take it apart to resquare it. So since I got to do that, you know, to square it back up, I'm just going to replace that door because I've haven't I've kind of hated it since we got it. So we're going to put a new one in today. And my cousin Trent's on his way up. He's going to help me out with it. You've seen him in other videos when we worked on the extension. We did the extension trusses together and a bunch of stuff on the extension actually over a couple of days when he was here. Well, he's going to come up, help me get that new door in. And he actually started a channel just a couple months ago. He's just got a few videos up right now, but I'll put the link to his channel below if you're interested in checking that out. He just moved down here from Ontario. He lives in New Brunswick now too. He bought a few acres and bought a house and now he's living there and getting set up. So you can check that below. It's called Homestead by the Highway. So I'll put the link below. You can go check out his channel and see what he got going on over there. Then after I get that door in, I'm gonna pick up the wood for this wall. We're gonna bang off this wall probably tomorrow most likely. Maybe my dad will come back up for that, not sure. Either way, I'm gonna pick up the wood for it. We're gonna get that wall raised and we'll have them all raised and be waiting on the trusses. So that's awesome. So we're well on our way to getting this thing covered in before the winter, so that's good. Here, I'll put some pressure on it when you hit it. <laughs> what do we have in there? Inside. It's coming. There you go. Nice. That side bounces it. Can we close the door, open the door a tiny bit more? Yep. Oh, wait a second. How it feels about it? Probably going in the same old hole. Oh, yeah. Got the door in. <laughs> 